Speak to the hand. All right, let's go back to Boston now. Marcus Smart and the Celtics will head to Cleveland with a 2-0 lead. Marcus, Paul Antunes, ESPN Brazil. People in this town talk a lot about Celtic pride. The energy in the building today was off the hook. Your energy was off the hook. Do you feel like you guys are just in a special moment? Do you feel like this is a special group of guys right now? Um, I definitely do. We're locked in. You know, uh, Brad and his coaching staff always talks to us about being locked in in the moment. And, you know, that was a big thing for us. <clears throat> we, so we're just trying to stay locked in and focus on each other and, and, and really, you know, decrease all the, the outside noise and distractions. Marcus, Paul Flannery, SB Nation. How important was it for you guys to absorb that first blow that LeBron was going to throw you at 21 points in the first quarter, but to not get down there and, and to, you know, to, to keep yourself and continue fighting back? Oh, man, you know, you got to tip your hat to LeBron. You know, he's been doing this for a long time, and if not the greatest, one of them to do it. You know, we knew coming into this game that, you know, he was going to come out and give everything he had, and he was going to have a game like this. And, uh, you know, our job was just, you know, keep going. You know, make it tough on them all night. You know, eventually those shots he was hitting in the first half and the second half stopped falling. And uh, and it took a, a full team effort, every, everybody off the bench and guys, we just kept sending at them. Brian Rob, Boston Sports Journal. Uh, Marcus, you got pretty heated there in the second half when Al went down on that foul by J.R. Smith. What did you see there that just, you know, got you uh, so upset by that? Oh, man, we're out there to play basketball, you know, and uh, I just looked at it. You know, Al's, uh, he's a defenseless, you know, you know, uh, person. He's in the air. He can't control how his body goes, and he's not even looking in. <clears throat> you know, you, you go and take two two hands to the back, you know, it's a dirty shot, you know, and uh, you just you just can't allow that to, to keep happening. You know, this is not the first time JR has done some dirty stuff, especially playing against us. Uh, he's known for it, especially playing against us. We We, we know that. So, you know, you, for if it's like a bully. You keep letting the bully keep picking on you. He's going to keep picking on you until you finally stand up. And, and that's what I tried to do. You know, one of my guys was down, and I took offense to it. Jared Weiss from The Athletic. Marcus, when Tyloo was just in here, he said that they need to find someone that can match your level of toughness. How important is it to you at all times to be setting that gold standard for toughness in the series? Um, that's me. You know, that's how I was raised. I'm the youngest of four boys. You know, my whole life I've had to fight. <laughs> I had to get down and do things and, and that, you know, um, in order to secure my spot in the household. You know, so coming onto the court is nothing different. And, you know, we're the underdogs. We're coming in. Cleveland's, you know, pick the beaters. We have to come and give energy, extraordinary energy, excuse me, <clears throat> all the time. And, you know, I just try to be that spark plug. <clears throat> Mark, because after you um, saw... Jason Tatum had that collision with LeBron. How did you guys view LeBron's game after that? Uh, Ty Lue thought LeBron might have lost a little bit of a punch uh, in his game. Um, you know, I, I didn't really get to see the play. You know, I just seen a foul call, and I was uh, on the other side on the bench. So, you know, from, from what they told me, he got hit in the, in the face, you know, and he went out. Um, I didn't know what was going on. You know, um, and, and that was big for us. You know, he went out, you know, I don't think Jason was intentionally trying. I think he was trying to make a basketball play. You know, it just happened. And uh, he went out and, you know, it, it, it allowed us to pick up our pressure even more. So 